Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel or welcome back, the Southern Clairvoyant. I have got a great Dollar Tree haul for y'all today, so stay tuned. My name is Patty. I am so happy you are here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and please go ahead and give me that big thumbs up. Today, I have a, quite a few things to share with you and my kitty cat wants to say hello. Say hello, rabbit. This is my chonky chonky kitty. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Along with the Dollar Tree haul, I have a real short Walmart haul. So let's get started. First off, I found this wonderful adhesive. Look at this, this beautiful pearl and this gold and this blue and yes this will be going into my junk journal now i found this beautiful ribbon look at that it's like a rose color and an off white i think my next junk journal i'm going to be doing um an antique or so to speak antique themed junk journal so if you want to see a video about that please comment down below but look at these beautiful they're like a coppery rose colored stickers of these beautiful flowers i just i had to have these oh my goodness i got so excited i found these little party favor boxes and I thought that is something very unique that could look great in a junk journal. So I'm definitely going to be putting these into a book. I found that one and I also found this one. Looks like popcorn, little popcorn boxes. Oh, they're just so cute. They remind me of like a circus or like a circus themed. It, it reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, I found this gift wrap. Look, it's Charlie Brown, it's peanuts. Oh, look at that, how cute. <laughs> I found Nightmare Before Christmas with Jack and all his, all the fun characters on here. Oh my goodness, I just was like, wow. There's Sally and Jack and the doggy. What's the doggy's name? Comment down below if you know the doggy's name. I cannot think of it right now. Also, I found the Grinch. Look at this. This is definitely going to be going into a junk journal. Yes, look. And Max, the dog. Look at all these different Grinch designs on here. I just absolutely was blown away when I found this gift wrap. I was just so excited, you guys. Also, I found a journaling pen for $1.25. You cannot beat this. And it writes in black. It says it's a rolling gel pen. So if you do decide to do some junk journaling, go to the Dollar Tree and look for this pen. I found some beautiful scissors. Look at that. Aren't those so darling? And yes, they're by Jot. But I just, oh, I had to have them. That's just so cute. I needed a new pair of scissors anyway. Especially, they're great to cut ribbon and things like that. Now, for these next items, I just could not believe I found all of these great Vintage stickers. I'm going to show them to you one by one. Look at this. Oh, aren't these adorable? So, yeah, you guessed it. I thought, well, this will be great to go into a junk journal. Look at these instruments. Isn't that just adorable? So I just thought, hmm, maybe I can do a junk journal that is all antique looking, all vintage, all antique -y. 
Like I said, if you want to see a video of me doing one, please comment down below that yes, you would love that. Look at this. Isn't this darling? <laughs> Hot air balloons. You know, this of course reminds me of the Wizard of Oz when the wizard went up in the hot air balloon and left Dorothy down with the munchkins. Oh my gosh, I love that movie, especially around this time. Comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Christmas um, movie. Now, yeah, these are the stickers. These are vintage. Look how gorgeous these are. Wow, I just, I could not believe this, you guys. Look at these books. <laughs> yes, those are books. Oh, I have so many ideas going through my head. Look at this. Look at the colors. Look at the silver. Mm. It says, love, wish, forever, and cherish. Look at that. I had to have that. You know what? I'm going to open one of these because I just, I know there's glare on the camera. Look at that. And they're like, they're raised, like they're embossed. But they are just gorgeous. <laughs> I got two of these. I thought these were just absolutely a darling. Look at that. How adorable. <laughs> This is like, it looks, it reminds me of like Roman times, like the columns at Rome or something. I don't know why. It just screams that era. And look at this. Just look. And they're like, they're puffy. You know, like they're raised. This is going to look so good in a junk journal. Oh, it's just absolutely, I love it. Look at this, <laughs> like a briefcase. Look at that. It just, it, it looks so old to me. And the colors, I'm gonna open this one too. Those colors of that copper and that old antique looking silver. It's gonna look so great in a book. Look at this. Ooh. See? Oh, so cute. Oh, and the coffee. Now, I wish they had more, like, tea, but I guess you can just, you can use this for anything, but I just thought this was just darling. You know? And this border around all of this, you can absolutely, you can cut that as well and use that uh, also in a book. It's going to be so adorable. These are clear, but they're still raised. They're still embossed. But they have little sayings on them. These are going to look so adorable in a book. Get to your Dollar Tree and find these stickers, you guys. Oh my goodness, I could not pass these up. Now, these are, yes, these are stickers also. I thought these were rub-ons, but they're not. They're stickers as well. Look at that. That is just so darling to me. I love it. And, of course, this ribbon is going to match. This ribbon is going to match all of these. It's going to bring out, like, the color to all these stickers. Look at that. So, it's going to look really cute. Also, I found these markers. They're from Jot. Or the brand is Jot. There's 10 in here. Now, I haven't used these. So, I'm not sure how good quality they really, truly are. Um... Let's open up a red one here and look. Yep, see it? I don't know how good quality they are, but I guess we're going to find out. Now, I also found some more stickers. I found these. Look at this. They look vintage. <laughs> You 
see it? And they got all this letters back here. They look so old and so vintage to me. I'm excited about starting a vintage journal. Also, I found this little, look at this. It's like a little stationery. I'm gonna be using this in my junk journal, in my vintage one. Look at that. It's so cute. I'm gonna open this. Cause I can just, I can make little tags. See, I can make a tag out of this. Look how many page upon page I can make. I can just tear this off and I can cut this and I can get three little tags from this. All I have to do is glue this to cardstock and just make a little tag out of it. Okay, the next item up, I found all these cute, adorable, little children's books yes i use these in my junk journal i got mini the butterscotch bandit and the illustrations in these are just beautiful and i will absolutely do a video look at that on how i use these adorable little images in a junk journal so fun and if you think you don't have time to junk journal make time at least do like one page a week look at this isn't this so cute this is mini the flower prowler <laughs> but look at that isn't that darling so cute look at that <laughs> Oh, look at that. So adorable. I love these images. Yes, and also I need to tell you, if you think that you want to like use this image and you turn the page and you're like, uh-oh, I want to use this image, you might want to buy two books so you do not have to make up your mind. So you'll have two and you can use both images. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I found those two. I found this ready to read, Friends Help Each Other. Look how cute. <laughs> Look how cute these images are in these little, oh, they're just, they're darling. You could use this for a birthday. Uh, you know, somebody's birthday, you could do a birthday junk journal. I theme my junk journals. So, I'm definitely going to be doing an antique one. But, yeah, those images are so cute. Also, I found this one, Sophia, in the purple traveling case. <laughs> but, the images, like I said, are just darling. Look how cute. This would be adorable for the vintage page. In my junk journal... I love these images. They are just so super, super cute. Look at that. <laughs> it's hard to change. It's hard to turn these pages like this, but oh, just super cute. Yep. Oh, look at that. But the castle, I love it. That could go on the front of your cover. But yeah. Oh, and it's got, it's got a cute little, little bike. <laughs> and the clock. Look how cute. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I love it. Absolutely darling. Oh, there's also, there's another one in the back. See? Same as in the front. Right there. See, you get in the back and one in the front. So, there's a little tea time in here as well. Oh, and I love the choo-choo. Look at the choo-choo train. How cute. Look at that. That reminds me still of the Wizard of Oz. Those poppies. 
that were in the field that made them sleepy. The Wicked Witch put poppies in the field to poison them, make them sleepy. Yep, there's tea time. Look at that. <laughs> With an ant. Oh, I love it. And one last but not least, I found this darling little book, The Festival at Sugar Ridge. <laughs> look how cute. Oh, oh, looks like Candyland. I'll definitely be doing a junk journal, possibly of Christmas pictures. Look at that. <laughs> Just gonna flip through. Uh oh. It's hard to change these pages around, but. Oh, they're just super cute. Super, super darling. Look at that. <laughs> that looks just like Candyland Village. So these next items up, I got at Walmart. I got this light lavender paint from Apple Barrel. I got this pink polish. Look at that, how pretty. And I got this pale daffodil yellow. I'm gonna be using those for upcoming spring projects. I got this beautiful ribbon that I'll be using in my junk journal. It's like a rose pink. It's so pretty. This was 97 cents. I found these in the party aisle at Walmart. My cat is sneezing. But yeah, I found these in the um, party aisle at Walmart. And I think they were near the wedding stuff. But I'm going to be using these in my vintage junk journal. I'm going to open these. See, it's just little cutouts. And these are just, these are just little clothespins. I'm going to be making tags. I'll use these in my junk journal. These were like, I think they were $3.97. I'm not sure. They reminded me of Pioneer Woman. They say mini clothespins. So I got that. It comes with a little twine. And my last item, I got this beautiful scrapbook paper. And I'm going to be using this for, you guessed it, junk journaling. But look at these pages. And they're front and back. I think this was, uh, I think this was $10 at Walmart. But absolutely just beautiful they look vintagey to me so i just i went ahead and i got it and there is 50 sheets in here and that's the one i got if you want to screenshot that go ahead Thank you so much for letting me share this Walmart and Dollar Tree haul with y'all. I love you. Until the next video, peace.